EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. Today, it's a black and blue matchup in the NFC North between the Detroit Lions and the Green Bay Packers. teams that have met at least twice a year since 1932. The Lions and Packers underway from Lambeau. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Opening play, and Goff wants to pass it. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. But they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. Play action. It's Goff. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. So two incompletions have led him to an early third and ten. A play fake for Swift. Now Goff. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense. As built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. complete and past the 40 before he's out of bounds they'll fake the give now golf steps away and nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. Off play action. Here's golf. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And the Packers will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Offensively, a far from ideal start there with a pick on the opening drive. Yeah, not exactly what they were looking for. We know that. That's pretty obvious. The beauty, though, is it's happening early. If they don't panic, they don't compound this problem, they've got a long way to go and a chance to get back in it. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Rodgers now to throw. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. They should have put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Here's Jones again on second down. Down to the 25. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Ricky, 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 Ricky. 44, 44, Mike, Mike, 44. Watch the out, watch the 
Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked by Jeff Akuda. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? The boss throw complete there to St. Brown. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Now Goff on first down. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Here we go now on first and goal. From the gun, here's Goff. Buying time to his left. This will be caught at about the five. After all that, they only wind up with a yard. It's second down. And they ran just a little underneath route here on first and goal, but there's really not a whole lot of room to operate this close to the goal line. He's just not able to get loose after the catch. The line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Go off a handoff here to Swift. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Swift again. Fourth down now after a loss of two. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he will be brought down well shy of the goal line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. That ball nearly intercepted. The rookie had his hands on it, but couldn't pull it in. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now Rodgers. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. Well, they've moved the ball okay here in these first two drives, but this one's going to get amount to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. And from their own end zone, it's a fake. Sliding out of the pocket. So they get the first down. Maybe not a huge play in terms of yardage, but the fake punt does the job. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And they'll be inside the red zone with a ball at the 16-yard line. The start of this game has me doing flashbacks and remembering when I was playing and seeing a similar start and seeing the head coach actually take a timeout and gather the whole team around him and tell him everybody to get it together. Let's get some focus going here because maybe he just sensed that maybe this the whole team wasn't ready to play. Yeah, well they, and he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Preston Smith. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to go under pressure again, and down he goes again. With Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. 
So now following the sack, off in the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This is caught, and they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. First and goal from the three. Here's Gaw. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks her. A big seam, and he might go all the way. 30, the 20. And into the end zone. It's a pick six 